was number 200. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. The lambs I banquet we await in snow-white robes of royal and now the Red Sea's channel pass. To Christ our Prince we sing at last. Upon the altar of the cross, His body hath redeemed our loss. And tasting of His life-red blood, our life is hid with him in God. That Paschal Eve, God's arm was bared, the devastating angels stared. By strength of hand, our hosts went free from Pharaoh's ruthless tyranny. Now Christ, our Paschal Lamb, is slain, the Lamb of God that knows no stain. The true oblation offered here, our own unleavened bread sincere. O Thou from whom hell's monarch flies, O great, O very sacrifice, thy captive people are set free, and endless life restored in thee. For Christ arising from the dead, from conquered hell victorious fed, he trust the tyrant down to chase, and paradise for man regains. Maker of all, to thee we pray, fulfill in us thy joy today, when death assails grand Lord that we may share the paschal victory. To thee who dead again does live, all glory, Lord, thy people give. All glory as is ever me, to Father and to On the third day, there was a wedding at Cana in Galilee. Hallelujah. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands, you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Indeed, thou shall be blessed, the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. May you see your children's children in a happy Jerusalem 
on Israel be. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. On the third day, there was a wedding at Cana in Galilee. Alleluia. Christ will be honored in my body. Alleluia. They have pressed me hard from my youth. This is Israel's song. They have pressed me hard from my youth, but could never destroy me. They plowed my back like plowmen, drawing long furrows. But the Lord who is just has destroyed the yoke of the wicked. Let them be shamed and routed, those who hate Zion. Let them be like grass on the roof that withers before it flowers. With that no reaper fills his arms, no binder makes his sheaves. And those passing by will not say, On you the Lord's blessing. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Christ will be honored in my body. Alleluia. Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Alleluia. Hear this, all you peoples, Give heed, all who dwell in the world, man, low, low, and high, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom. My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With the harp I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me? Men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches. For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age, though their names spread wide through the land. In his riches, man lacks wisdom. He is like the bees that are destroyed. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep, they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd. And the just shall become their ruler. With mourning the outward show vanishes, and a grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death, and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, 
Man will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his fathers, who will never see the light anymore. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Alleluia. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Alleluia, alleluia. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will it came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Alleluia, alleluia. the first letter of Peter. Come to the Lord, a living stone, rejected by men, but approved nonetheless, and precious in God's eyes. You too are living stones, built as an edifice of spirit into a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ.
My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. resurrection Christ has given sure hope to his people let us ask him with our whole hearts Lord Jesus from your wounded side flowed blood and water make the church your spotless bride Chief Shepherd, after your resurrection, you made Peter shepherd of your flock when he professed his love for you. Increase from day to day the love and devotion of Francis, our Pope. You showed your disciples how to make a great catch of fish. Send others to continue their work as fishers of men. At the lakeside, you prepared bread and fish for your disciples. Grant that we may never allow others to die of hunger. Jeremy Bergstrom was on the job search for the Simmons family uh, redemptions. Megan Otten for studies at the Western Conference. And thanksgiving to God for being entrusted pardon in the chief of staff position. Yes. My parents, uh, thanksgiving for their trip and their safe arrival home. Also for Scott, for Mauricio, and for his family. Jesus. 
Jesus, the new Adam and life-giving Spirit, transform the dead into your own likeness, that the fullness of your joy may be theirs. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of April the 25th. Feast of St. Mark, Evangelist. He accompanied St. Paul and his cousin Barnabas during their first missionary voyage to Cyprus. Afterwards, he supported the apostle during his imprisonment at Rome. The author's testimonies present him as the interpreter of St. Peter's catechesis and as the preacher of the good news in Egypt. His relics carried to Venice in the 9th century were partially restored to the Patriarch of Alexandria by, by Pope Paul VI as a sign of the desirable communion between the Roman and Coptic churches. The year of the Lord, 479. The martyrdom of Saint Stephen, Bishop of Antioch. He died at the altar under the hands of the Eutychians for having confessed Christ, true God and true man. Blessed Benedict the Twelfth, Pope, who returned to the Father at Avignon in the year of grace 1342. A Cistercian abbot at Pontcoise, he became Bishop of Pamiers at the Mirepoix, France. Appointed to the See of Peter, he sought to reform ecclesiastical discipline. The same way the heavenly birth of a cloud of witnesses of every race, people, tongue, and nation who have entered into eternal glory. 